Bummer. Oh, we were talking about portion control. Yeah. Is what we were. And that and and the main thing with portion control is is you just push your plate back when you're satisfied. Yeah. And that's what yeah, we were because saying. honestly the thing with portion control, you can't give a specific amount. Like we can't tell you eat a five ounce piece of meat or, you know, I don't know, whatever, because everybody's body is so different. So that's where the rule of thumb comes in, where you just, you eat until you're satisfied and you start to learn that. It's hard. Some people like to say, look at your, um, the palm of your hand. That's how much meat you should be eating. That's how much vegetables you should have or sides. For us, that's too difficult. That's so so hard. Everybody, everybody is so different. And it doesn't matter how much you weigh or what size you are. All that matters is you when feel you, good. Is how you feel. And when you feel satisfied, you just push your plate back. That's going to be different for every single person. Um, I know different people that say... Um, well, I have said before, sometimes a half a sandwich would be enough for me. Other people are like, it, it is not. It is not satisfying to me. And if it isn't satisfying, you won't make it till the next meal. So it's very important that you eat until you're satisfied. Because if you don't, what happens? What happens? You end up snacking on Junk. Right. Well, you're, you're snacking all day long. Which Yeah, you end up snacking on all day long and you take in... Way too many calories snacking all day long. Mm -hmm. um, some people like to eat six meals a day or, um, you know, just eat a lot all day. Yeah, yeah. Not a lot, but at different times. But actually, you're taking in more and you're taking in more calories doing that. So, yeah, if, more people think that grazing all day long and having just little bits and not really eating a meal is better, but it's not. Okay, we actually found four salt jars because we didn't know that our sister-in-law had some at the Highland location. So guess what? They're in the car. Where are you? Come meet us. <laughs> Come find us and we'll give you the salt jar because we haven't even made it to the warehouse yet. We have only four of these bad boys left until we get more of our shit. Yeah. So we've already ordered more. So more are on their way. Okay. Also important to eat slowly to let your brain realize that your stomach is full. Yes. yes. Um, okay, I did already post this, but the Kamut is amazing. My cookies are always so soft and fresh the next day. Great. Boom. Great. And Boom. how much how much flour are you using less? Can people actually diagnose with celiac, eat all of the recipes with Kamut, or can they eat all of your recipes using Kamut? Okay, so we cannot tell celiac or gluten even that they, it's not gluten-free, and we can't say that it's for celiac, but we have followers that are on here that can attest to you and give their testimony of it. We've had celiac and then all of the gluten intolerant can handle it. And that's not news to us because we already knew that, like she said, the Italians did it. They already did a study on it and they've been doing this for 25 years. They have been shipping Kamut over to Italy for 25 years. So... We you found just have to try to do it yourself. The yeah. thing the thing is, is the only way I knew Kamut before I started working with it was people were adding it to other to with other grains. They were using it with other grains. And I started using it just plain. Just plain all purpose white Kamut or grind the berries and use the whole wheat Kamut. And that's how I was doing it. And I guess I was we were the first ones to do that because Everyone was saying, oh, I didn't know you could use just straight Kamut flour. I, it's so delicious. I said, yes. When I first made my first loaves of bread with just straight 100% all-purpose white Kamut or straight 100% um, whole wheat Kamut, the taste was so amazing. This I is could the funniest part, though, is I know that we talk about it all the time but the reason we keep talking about it is we get asked about it there's new people but the funny thing is is I know that a lot of you are still like hesitant because you've written me that and I get it I get we get that it's more expensive like we're not clueless we we know we get that it's a commitment in a yes. sense but just try 
just get the five pound bag. You try it because, man, I, you just can't go back. And once you go back, you'll notice the difference. You'll notice how, crazy. how much more substantial it is when you eat it. You'll notice that the taste is better. You'll notice the texture and you'll notice the digestibility. Like dying of heat in here. I know, and you'll notice we're in a sauna. <laughs> we're in a sauna room because right we're now. sitting in the car having this live because we wanted to do it right after Good Things Utah. Okay, do you find you have a lot of leftovers on the plan? What do you do with them? Is your family good about eating them, or do they often get tossed? A lot of people like to use the leftovers for lunch the next day. They like to take it to work with them. They like to send it with their kids for lunch. Katie does that every single day. Whatever she makes the night before, it goes to school with people, Stephen for lunch. People make a leftover night. Yes, people have a leftover yeah. night. For me, when I was raising my children, I made just enough for that night. Because everybody looked forward to the variety of food and the theme night so much that... Um, we we rarely had yeah um, we you know we would go out food nanny says cook five nights a week take we two already days made off. the tart yeah we made the tart on TV sorry keep going oh me. yes food nanny says to cook five nights a week we're just having a QA and a today take two days off and that you can either bring food in or you can have a leftover night or you can go out because we all love our fast food. Let's face it. Let's be honest. We all have our favorite fast food. And we all have our favorite restaurants that we so like nice. to go to frequently. So it's fun. But if you can't afford to go out right now, which back in the day, either... Maybe I've been I, eating this all morning. I, have going. I love it too. Cut, cut us a piece. Back in the day, if the kids weren't... I'm sick or if it wasn't the weather wasn't bad or my husband was gone or I really didn't have the money those kinds of reasons kept us home or or we just felt like it you know sometimes you just don't feel like going out but it's just that here in America do you know that the average American eats out five times a week that's the average is that not crazy that that's is true. That is crazy. Uh, so many people are eating out, and that's why we're doing this. We're trying to show you that we have easy, fast recipes, but you have to get organized. And somebody has to be in charge, and women, we still own that. We still own that. You don't have to do all the cooking, and you don't have to do all the work. And grocery shopping is made so easy now. Like, order it online, pick up, because I get it. I'm like, it's hard to get to the grocery store with the kids sometimes. But there's so many new, amazing ways to do it. You can order, and but, you can have it delivered. Well, yeah, but you can go and you order it, and you pick it up, too. Yeah, well, that's car. what I mean. <laughs> or Either way. Or you can order on Amazon and have it, I mean, or, or order it online. So you can... Order it from the store. They'll deliver it. You can order yes. it. What it are up. you saying? This right. is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, my heavens. Okay. Um, That's funny. Look at Wendy. Camus is worth every pen. It is truly, it truly oh, makes everything better. Thank you, Wendy. We love you. We're not making it today. Um, you're making me laugh. Why are you sitting in a car with that giant dog? Oh, I know. Why am I? Why do I? Because we just got off. A little TV show, Good Things You Our Talk. first live turned off. Yeah. So we, we had to be up at 5 in the morning, and we were making the fruit tart. So anyways, we didn't have our normal Friday live, so we said, why not do like a QA? and a So yeah. we were having a funny Q&A. We were trying to car. get it as close to 10, 10 a.m. as Words on could. your faces. Move the camera up. <laughs> okay. So we were trying to get it as close to. I don't know. As I don't know could. if we can do that. No. My arm's gonna fall off. Yeah. Um. So we were talking about earlier how to do this commute. People are saying we're getting too time. warm in the car. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe we are getting too warm in the car. <laughs> it's hot. Oh, but if we go out, then we won't have any privacy. Yeah. Anywhere. Anyways, well, the first part. Okay, what is your favorite recipe Excuse if me. you had to choose one? Here, I'll put this back down. Um, the this. favorite recipe, um, if I had to choose one in the books, it would probably be, well, we have so <laughs> many amazing, well, our lasagna bechamel is off the charts. It's so delicious. I'm opening the door. Um, it's the real deal, if anybody knows what lasagna bechamel is. Our ragus, our, all of our... Um, Can't you just turn on and we'll crack the window? 
yeah, we can try that. All of our pastas are super good. Um, but what is our, Lizzie, what is our favorite recipe? Well, I our, don't know. I think that's hard to one say. One of our signature recipes is our arugula pizza, which is amazing. I know the tart's getting too warm. But okay, let's... our, um, our, our fondue that we have online, our cheese fondue, I'm so into cheese um, and have been now for quite a few years. I like to, we like to say that we usually have a sandwich for lunch um, with some chips. I know. But now we eat a lot of cheese, idea. don't you think? What? Don't you think we eat a lot of cheese now? Yeah. Yeah. Good we, idea. Sunroof. Thank you. And not, oh. and not like just cheddar cheese. No, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about delicious cheese, like Comte from France and Manchego from Spain and um, Royal um, Brie from France. Um, Lizzie, we love, we're really into the goat cheese, the honey goat. You guys, I, can, I seriously cannot choose. I, I don't, There's, I don't know. The list goes I don't on know and on. because there's so many good breads and desserts like that artisan beer bread with the strawberry butter. Oh. I could eat a full loaf myself. Like last night, it. There's just so many good ones. There's really. so many great. Re and if our, you our chicken follow tacos, it, just follow the recipe. Exact. Yeah, the creamy chicken soup. Our chicken tacos. Um, white chili. The white chili. Um, the the Italian peasant soup. Everybody's making. Uh, there's just. We have over 400 recipes. And I think, I don't know. Each one is incredible, seriously. Like I constantly tell everybody, they're like, which cookbook? I don't know how you choose. They're both like, it's salt and pepper. You gotta have both. Okay, Liz, how do you really travel and then do all of this and not be exhausted? I, when I sleep, I really try to sleep, but sometimes, sometimes it happens that I don't even sleep that well. But I think I'm so used to doing it for so long. I think the real champion is me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because she's got a baby that keeps her up all night and has done since he was born. No, we finally just figured out the problem, but I'm not kidding. My baby is almost two years old and I've been doing this Instagram for a year and a half and I don't get sleep. He never sleeps. I've, I haven't had a full night's sleep. That's why I don't judge. <laughs> but he, but yeah. Just I'm, kidding. Oh, You're no, the champion. No, not how hardly. do you do it? No, I'm not just hardly. saying I'm really tired and I'm like, I don't know how we do I, it. I don't know, but I was born with a lot of energy and um, I don't take. Do you ever get exhausted? People don't think that yes. you ever really get exhausted. Yes, I do She's at human. night. She does. At night. When, when night comes, at I'm night. exhausted. <laughs> yes. But um, when I was raising my kids, I always took a nap during the middle of well after lunch i always put the kids and i never down. get a nap yeah the i don't know how these mothers do it nowadays because honestly we didn't have that many places to go when i was raising my kids and so we had lunch and then we had a nap we had story time and then we had a nap and that's how i made it through nowadays I'm not napping but i don't have all those kids either but lizzie how do you do it without a nap I, don't know. I know once in a while you Diet get one. Coke. Once in a while you get an app. Yeah. It's passion, mom. It's yeah. called passion. But I it's different it's nowadays. It's called what we're doing is passion. <laughs> People are in their cars so much more. People are out and about. They're at lunch. They're visiting friends. They're having... Yeah, because we're off having fun. Yeah. So that's so funny. She's like, that wasn't how I was doing it. That, and then she's like, come on, Lizzie. Let's go. Let's but go to lunch. I'm having let's go fun. Have fun. And it's like, okay, well, I want to have fun. I don't want to miss out on the fun. I know. So they drag their kids on occasion. And um, it's... It's kind of different now. Anyways, it, okay. Can you buy the flour somewhere in Utah instead of ordering online? Yes. We have it 4100 Southwest Temple. You can come to Tuesday to Saturday from noon to 5. So that's 4100 Southwest Temple. Um, Tuesday through Saturday they from can noon DM to 5. Too, yeah. You can go to Highland to Lisa. You can go to Farmington to Tamara. You, can, you just have to text them and like set yeah. up a time on those ones. Yeah. But the warehouse, yeah, just go, show up. Yeah, just it's show perfect. up. It's a warehouse. So Amy Don't and Katie wait. and Emily and Shanna and Kim all work the warehouse. And so, but somebody's going to be there. Sometimes we're there on occasion. I'll be there tomorrow. With Mr. Food Nanny. He's there a lot too. Who watches the two-year-old while you do your lives? 
Mr. Food Nanny. Or Amy or Katie. Yeah, or, or one of my sisters will yeah. help out. Yeah. But mostly Cam- it's Mr. Food mm-hmm. Nanny. One of the some, one of our family members. I am having 24 guests for Bunko. Any recommendations what I should feed a large group of ladies? Oh my goodness. Feed them our amazing, any one of our soups and our breads. Make a bread board with our, um, do our Italian bread, our yeah, beer bread. Yeah, it's, but it's spring. It's like okay. make the orzo salad. Okay, yeah, with the bread. Make the orzo salad with the bread. Oh, mm. the ladies will die. It's so good. Make the chicken tacos. They're super easy. Um, do pizzas. We've showed you how to prepare pizzas beforehand. Um, and you know how you can do the crust. Cook the cr- crust off. Um, do our most acholi. Everybody loves our most acholi. Everything's so good. We have so many go-to recipes like our most acholi. Do our broccoli chicken casserole. Who doesn't love that? I know. I die for that. Okay, when we're not making that on a girl's night. Well, I don't know. When you girls make it, you say, Mom, guess what I made tonight? And I'm, I'm like coming over. I don't for think broc- I'm making that on a girl's night, but I, I don't do know. love it. I it's would good. want it. Okay, I would want it. Um, will you guys give us cookies when we come to the warehouse from now on? We oh, should. We should. We, we really just should. don't have time to do all that. Um, can I buy just the second cookbook? Yes. Yes. It's just a better deal if you buy both, but yes, you can buy both. $24.95. They're worth it. Every penny. Yes. Like I said, she locked herself in her room for seven years. It's worth it. Yes. I'm making food nanny pizza tonight. Yay. Oh, yay. We are too. So we're excited. I don't know. What else do we, what else are we talking about? Okay, I don't know. You told them about the lipsticks, I don't know. We well, the, li- the lipsticks aren't we... safe. So do you want me to show the lipsticks one more time? Okay. Do you want me to show and, my favorite lipsticks And of all go time? to page 291 in the second book if you want to make this fruit tart that we did this morning on Good Things Utah. It's so easy. I'm not kidding. You can crack it out in what? Like 20 minutes. Yeah. I'm dead serious. Yeah. It's super fast. Um, will the pot holders be in stock again? Yes. And you know what? Those pot hold- holders, they, this might be cheesy, but they really do have more meaning to me more than ever now because it's my husband's grandma that's 89 years old and then his mom makes them too on the side. And his mom is 64. I think she's 64. And anyway, she has cancer right now and it's things terrible. are not going super great. And so it's really breaking my heart. So we're trying to like keep them in stock, but you guys have realized how incredible they are. And so I don't know, did we finally get some more blue ones at the warehouse? Mm -hmm. I don't think we have enough to be putting online, but we have more blue ones at the Salt Lake warehouse. So you can go and get that. Henrietta, the 89 year old, wonderful, amazing woman is knitting like crazy. And some people say they've had the knitted ones, but I don't know. I have to say these are the best knitted the, ones we've ever had. The best stitch yeah. we've ever seen. And their quality. Susan is in bed now, so she's not knitting, but her sister is. Yeah. And we're, we want to sh- give Susan a special shout out. I would like to and tell her how much I love her this Mother's Day. She is precious and she's very sick right now in That's bed. That's nice. That's nice. So anyways, this, the hot pads are a special item. Okay. Um, what is the best everyday bread? The honey white? Um, the Kamut. The Kamut uh, bread. The best everyday bread is either going to be, um, the, let's see, I'll look it up right here in the book. Um, the best everyday. Mom, we're eating the Kamut bread every day. Well, yes, that, if they don't have Kamut. Is the, <laughs> is our Kamut. Well, why don't bread. they have Kamut? It's our Kamut bread recipe that's on the back of our Kamut flour. That was made up special by me to um, to use for the all-purpose white Kamut and the whole wheat Kamut. It goes for either one. It's amazing. It's made with all natural ingredients. The First, the Kamut flour, then honey, then our salt from France our amazing ancient salt as well from France, some olive oil or butter, and um, some yeast and water. That is what goes into our Kamut bread. If you don't have the Kamut and you don't have the flour and you cannot make that recipe, then go to our white bread on page 228 in our first book or our honey 
oat bread. You can't see that at all. On 229. It, but there's there's so many and then in the second book we have a honey white bread as well and that's amazing sandwich bread too so we have so many breads <laughs> it's just choose which lots of breads in both lots, of and the books every single one of them are delicious do you use kamu in sourdough yes yes everything and it just ups the sourdough and because of the recipe that i made up we create a sponge and what the sponge means is we add our flour and our yeast and a third of a cup of our honey and then four cups of our flour we mix it up and then we let it sit and it's it develops and the yeast and the gluten start to come together and we let it sit and this is is um actual work that's taking place before actual digestion and so that's why sourdough is so great I get into reading these comments <laughs> that's why sourdough is so great is because of the fermentation right. and so we actually do a sponge which is a fermentation on our which little helps digest. which helps digestion on our first or on our Kamut recipe it's amazing my son can't have Kamut because he's low protein it's still nice to remember the old way of preparing the recipes for our family. Yes, that's great. Because he has to have lower protein. Okay, because Kamut does have a little more protein than other flours. Okay, so just read, just all of the recipes in our books don't call for Kamut because we weren't using it then. Our first book has been out for um, 12 to 13 years. And then our second book has been out around 5 to 6 years. So we don't have Kamut. Five to six years. I think so. Way longer than that. Oh, the second book? Mom, I lived in Denver for four. Oh my goodness. I Time mean, this flies. is like oh, I, oh that's probably been eight a years. while. <laughs> and I think your first book is like fifteen. Like fifty. I mean a <laughs> hundred. I mean, five years ago. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's like what am I thinking? Okay, if I make the Kamut recipe on the back of the bag, do the mini low pans change on the baking time? Yes. Yes, you bake for way less for the mini loaves. You just got to watch it. Around It's about 18, 18 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. But, but it, mine is like 16 to 18. Yeah. So you just have to watch it. Take, take a hot pad. Turn the loaf upside down, and when you see that it's light brown on the bottom, it's done. Okay? But you don't want to overbake it. No. When you see that it's light brown on the bottom, it's finished. Okay, so these were the lipsticks, if you missed it. I was telling you my testimony of these because we love them. My mom is obsessed with them, too. But yeah. anyways, we were laughing how Utah has been sold out of these three colors. So it's Revlon color stay over time and we were talking about how we literally oh no uh -oh. we like put it on in the morning we eat we're drinking all day long it stays on your lips are so soft it doesn't make them gross so I get asked all the time which which what lipstick it's amazing what lipstick are it's you guys amazing. wearing I mix them sometimes I love them yeah I love them they're so good we lost a little bit of the beginning of our um, live and we were talking about portion control and we Lots had so of other many good things. things. We had so many good things that we were talking about, but that's okay. We can do it again. Yeah. And um, we're sorry that we're sorry that it cut off. On I don't us. even know how long we've been going now. No, but that's okay. So we've got <laughs> everybody's. I know going to have a wonderful Mother's Day. Um, if you um, are oh the names. Oh yeah, I'll read them again. So it's Infinite Raspberry. I need to do a post. Boundless Nude and Unlimited Mulberry. And I'm not kidding, I think they're all, pr they're beautiful on everybody. We've seen them on like blondes, dark, everybody. Everybody. They work on everybody. Um, Is the two week meal plan up? We need to check. It will be up It'll today. It will be up today. Yeah, it will be up by midnight tonight. You two are hilarious. You make such a great team. Thanks for helping me out with my cooking and baking room. Oh, Yay! Thank you. Thank well, that's you. so nice. 
Well, we'll have to talk more about portion control. We were talking really good, and what else did we talk? I don't know. Yeah, we, I don't know. We were we our were phone saying, was sitting in the sun, and it went to that temperature thing. It was like hot, hot, shutting down. Uh oh, we didn't realize that was it. crazy. We were saying how much we enjoyed doing our Instagram, and how much it means to us that you allow us into your lives to help you rescue your dinner. And it's not only that we're trying to help you put dinner on the table for your family, because when we do dinner, everybody wins. It creates a bond in your family that can't be created unless you're doing it. And if, if you feel like you just can't do it, try for three nights first. Food Nanny says cook five nights a week. Try for three first. And, and then progress from there. But the, it means the world I to the I feel kids. like to us, our recipes are just kind of like the beautiful bonus. You know, like our really yummy, delicious recipes are the bonus of what we really are wanting to be about. Like this Instagram was never meant to be just pushing out a recipe. No, like we've never no. connected that way with anybody. And I think it's because we're just so much more than that. Like we really do have so much passion and just want everybody to be having these memories and do everything that you just said, mom. Like that's what we do want. And that's, that's our message. We that's you, why we are doing what we're doing. We want you to understand how much it means to your kids and your spouse when you cook. And like we said, women still own it. Um, and women, somebody has to be in charge. So we as women still own that because it comes under sort of the nutrition, comes under the nurturing sort of too. So, but you don't have to do all the work. You can get your husband, you can get, if you're single and the kids are older, you can get them to help. You don't have to do the cooking every night unless you just have little kids. When they get older and get you, you know, like I said, get your, um, your kids, your husband involved. But if you're single, it is the one most important thing you can do. That's a proven fact. Whether you're a single mom or single dad, to sit down with your children when you do have them at the dinner table is the one most important thing you can do for them if you are single. And if you are single, we've got recipes to help well, you. Well, that happened make with that our work. sister when she was divorced. She really like looked forward to the time that she got to sit at the table with her kids because that was their one special moment bonding. of like bonding and yeah. talking to each other and talking about life and everything. You don't know what ha it's it's incredible what really can happen around the dinner table. I even shared it a couple of months ago. My daughter, it was like we were all sitting there having this wonderful discussion and she all of a sudden came up with something that she had heard at school and it's like she had all afternoon to talk to me. Never brought it up, but when we were at the dinner table, she brought up the thing that she had the learned incident. at school, the incident and the whole thing. And so, no, the power around it and that's where, like when I think of my childhood and I think of just everything my mom did and all the conversations and all the bonding, it makes me seriously emotional, like really emotional because those are some of the best memories and the best times of being with my mom and my siblings and because just remembering you, that. Because we really got to know each other, whether sometimes we were crying, sometimes we were laughing hysterically, sometimes it was serious, <laughs> sometimes we had serious talks. Sometimes it was it was future talks, talking about future and and everybody's future. This is where you grow up together with your kids is at the dinner table. This is where you talk about what you did as a kid and you share your experiences with your family when you were growing up. And this is where you talk about hopes and dreams and you plan you plan what you want to do also. Um, maybe for that weekend or maybe that summer. This is where life Abby, evolves. I shared this. I shared this the other night. You missed it, Abby. But look, she said, my 15-year-old son chose to come home for dinner after playing bay ball with his friends instead of going out for a burger. I asked him why, and he said, because you make better dinner here. Oh, So Abby. Abby, Abby came to get Camus, and she said that, you know, her boy and his friends, every day after school, they want to go and get food. And he just said, I don't even want to do it. He's like, I don't want to waste my money. And he's like, my mom's food is way better. And Abby was like so beyond touch because oh, you don't get it. Nothing. Like you, that's the thing. And I told Abby 
and what my mom said in all the studies, when you make dinner, the kids will come home. They want to come home. And that, that helps them get them out of trouble and all kinds Cook of things. for who is home. So if you say... I love that, Abby. I love it. Abby, thank you. Cook for who is home. Even if there's three of you, two of you, cook for who is home and then cook and they will come home. And those are truths. Those are dead truths that you can live by. And it's... It, find a way to do it. Tr find a way. Figure it out. We can help you in our books. We teach you how you can make that happen. Um, we have 30-minute recipes. We have 10-minute recipes. We have an hour and a half recipes. We have two-hour recipes. Just make that happen in your life, and we can help you make that happen. So like we said earlier, we're just not here saying, oh, it's so easy. You can do this. Just go make it happen. No, we have the tools for you to make that happen in our books and, and tools that are going to last you a lifetime like this is how she's been living her whole life this is how i've been raised my whole life it works it works and it helps you get dinner on the table so yes and it's it's but it's the, not like we don't we're not human it's and we the don't most have bad nights no. and we don't it's the most important thing i ever did for my family was to put a consistent dinner on the table um it, on a consistent daily basis the most important thing I did in that day was to make dinner. Didn't matter if um, everything was perfect, but if I had that dinner and not gourmet food, just good, hot, nutritional food, a vegetable and a main dish, and 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 a dessert for me. <laughs> no, <laughs> a cookie in the freezer. <laughs> Special times for dessert. Not so, yeah, every day is a special time yes, for dessert for me. and we do basically dessert every day. I know, but I love the way you say that. She's like, I only plan two desserts. <laughs> well, I like to make cookies almost every day. Well, I said all but cookies. We did oh, okay. cookies every single day. Yes, we made cookies every single day. Yeah, because that we didn't buy them. They weren't That's star so bought. That's so nice, Wendy. That's yeah. so nice. They weren't star bought. Anyways, okay. We I don't know. Every day. We didn't okay. keep track of the time. Okay, let's go. So we'll be back. Let's um, everybody have the best Mother's Day. And whether, a happy Mother's Day to all of you. And whether you have children or not, you are an influence in someone's life. You don't know who it is that you're influencing, but because you're a woman, you are. And we all have the innate... Um, um, and enabling power power within us that we want to nurture we want to love and we want to help and if you do not have children and you're not a mother you are a mother to someone else to other children to your nieces to um your nephews to your neighbor well, everybody to your neighbor. everybody looks up to you i mean what about the one time that the girl the girl's mom found in her journal that she had wrote about me when yes. I was in high school. Yes. And, and like, I didn't even know that the girl noticed me or anything. And it was like, she's such an example to me and all this crazy stuff. And her mom came up to me and was like, it's so crazy. She was writing about you in your journal. You're affecting, you're affecting people around you. And you're an that example you don't know. that you don't know. And you're an example to everybody around you. And we've got to give everybody the benefit of a doubt. I, I don't, why are we even talking about this now? But I, I don't know. I just feel like my mom, I used to be so, that girl's so mean. Oh, she didn't even say anything to me. She looked at me funny. And my mom just used to say, you don't even know what these people are really going through. And the more that I've grown and matured, I've realized that it's like, Everybody is going through something. Going through Everybody something. Everybody is going through something. And nobody's life is perfect. No. My life is not perfect. My life is not perfect. No. Everybody is going through no. something. And we oftentimes have to take that into account. And, um, well, not, uh, well, a lot. Not often, but a lot. If someone is acting sad or mad, often it's because of something going wrong something that they're feeling that's not just right so a smile a kind word a compliment to your friends to other people is great but if you are dreading mother's day on sunday don't if you're a woman because i promise you there's somebody writing about you in their journal and there's someone who thinks the world of you who you have mothered even though you might not have children
So just know and understand because you are a woman, you're so powerful and you have so much love to give and so much to give and all of our talents are different right Lizzie we all have different talents and each one of us have our have our talents and some of you will say well I don't know what my talent is but someone else would be able to tell you what it is well yeah everybody's got incredible if talents. we knew you for one second we would say well, we know I what it about is. myself I'll, you know yeah. what I mean I will be like well what do we really have we're not that talented no there are so many talented people out it's, there you know we don't so many we don't talented. play an instrument we can't sing we can't carry a tune we don't play an instrument we're horrible at sports we're this we're this but what so what is you know I'm not book smart yeah so so okay so what are we you know so what are you you've got something basically nothing you've got something and so we all do we all do and each person is worth so much each of each one of us is worth so much and we have to remember that and we have to remember that we're enough you're enough. yes everybody is enough and and what you're doing today is good enough it's good enough. Do your best, and your best is good enough. It doesn't have to be triple five, times. five nights a week. Yeah, it did. And plan your two <laughs> desserts. And never make a cookie unless it's planned. I mean, really. I mean, it's like, no, it doesn't have to be no, like that. It doesn't no. just, yes. We're just trying to put the message back out there, back in your minds, back in your families of you need to cook it's worth it keep cooking your family is worth it that is what we it gives have said. you purpose for the day it was my rock for the day and no matter how the day went sad or happy I knew I was gonna get into the kitchen and cook and change gears and take my mind off whatever was going on and put good healthy hot food on the table to eat and I promise you if you do that your life will become more organized in other areas so Lizzie let's wish everybody have a the happy best Mother's, Mother's, Mother's Day. Day I wish we could all send you an yes. apron and oh, a salt jar a and tell you how much things. we love you a million things I wish we could we, we love are you. so proud of this space and so thankful for this space and every time we meet any of you we are just so proud away. of you we're so blown away we're so proud of our family we can't even stand it. We say she's our fanny. We're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. she's so great. She's rocking. She's so great. She's so beautiful. She's so I cute. love that she's too. So nice. The 15-year-old so son cooks too. Yeah, perfect. Get the sons cooking too. Yes, I love it. Exactly. I love it. We don't have to do it alone. Somebody just has to be in charge, and and that would be us. <laughs> if you know, this girl's so worried about the tart. I know. We just gotta get that it's tart. It's okay. Home. Love All right, you guys. We'll Happy see you next Mother week. Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Yeah. Happy oh, Mother's don't... Day to you, hey, Lizzie. But... She's an amazing mother. Don't you love the post mother. that I put? <laughs> FYI, you know, because <laughs> she was like, I did not know you were gonna be posting that. I cannot believe you posted that. But that was the most incredible moment, and it's one of my uh, most favorite pictures, really, uh, that I will treasure for the rest of my life. It's my mom. It Thank is so my mom. Thank you. I love it. And Lizzie's a great mom. She's an incredible mom. And happy Mother's Day to you, too, and to all of my daughters and daughter-in-laws, and to my sisters, and to everyone that I love so much. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Love you.